Hey guys, Manjame here to show you a cool little feature on this phone, which I'll boot all the way out, got your home screen, and we'll go to the remote control app. Now we've got remote control, access of, you can pick either your TV or your VCR, and a multitude of systems. Alright, let's see. Let's simply go up a channel. Now we've got Roseanne. Go back down. We've got Adventure Time. Don't mind the horrible static. I have bad connection here. But it does work. And got a power button. And it turns it off right there. And we have other settings. Let's see. We have different TVs or devices registered. I also have a Sony device registered, such as the TV itself. So I'm going to hit on, and the light's going to come on. And let's see if I can catch it. VCR on. Did I catch it in time? Because usually if the 3D display does not sense anything connected or turned on, it will just shut itself off like it just did. Alright, so we're going to go back to Sony, hit the power button, which turns it on, and we've got TV again. And it's really cool. <clears throat> it's got the same controls as the remote got these funky colors and let's see if we can focus yeah it's got the funky colors and really not sure what they do but they've got most of the buttons except for the PlayStation button I believe it's just really cool and it's also got Another page of stuff, giving you more options. And you actually can, if I go to over here, 3D, it does actually work the 3D on the TV, although I'm not currently on a setting that would support that. So let's see, third page, you go between the HDMI 1 to video composite, okay. So that's pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do next is go back and register a new device. Alright, I've already got my VCR set, so let's see if I can do it again. Okay, quite simply it's a LG VCR. Alright, so under the list you've got TV, cable TV, satellite set top box, VCR, DVR, DVD player, DVD player, VCR, which actually I think would have been more accurate for this device, so let's, gonna, let's try that. Since it does have DVD and VCR, even though the DVD player isn't working on there. But I have PS3, so let's really move. Alright, so the brand of it is LG. Alright, gonna go to next. Okay, remote type, and honestly, I, there are a plethora of setups. Let's see if it focuses. Okay, type 19 becomes very simplistic. So, just in the interest of time, and well, I haven't really had a chance to really look at them all, I'm just going to pick type 1. Plenty of options see what the other page has. Looks to have some decent information. And input. Yeah, I think this will be fine. So we're going to go next. Volume playback. Oh, this is really cool. This is the, the swiping gestures. So if I want to do volume up, I would just kind of swipe in the upward direction and then I'll get that. And I think I'll go with that. Okay, so finalizing it, we get an icon. 
which shows different devices, but that one looks good enough. Let's see, we can name it, but I'm not going to name it right now. You can change the skin, you can go for different colors. I'll just throw in this one and OK. Alright, so since it's already sensed it, let's see what happens when I press. Oops. What happens when I press the off button? And there you go. Setting it up is really easy as long as you have that infrared. Oops, sorry. The infrared is inside of it. Just so like a regular TV remote, as long as you've got that. Hello. And it works just great. And you've got another... Well, you've got the only remote you need now. Since, you know, previously I'd use this. <clears throat> as well as the remote that came with it, the VCR. So you got two there. But now you've just got your phone, which can do that. Which is really cool. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave any comments, questions, anything like that. And this is just a little piece of what the Xperia ZL can do.